Aries, hey, welcome to your general reading for 7 to 13 August with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. In this reading, we're going to take a look at your recent past, your current energy, immediate future. We're going to clarify and then we're going to end off your reading with an oracle card. If you see anything during the reading that really resonates with you, that you say yes to, that you want to claim, place your dominant hand on your heart, take a nice deep breath and say, mm -hmm, yes, I agree to that. I have got a message for you Aries right away and the message is that you have got choices, you've got options, you've got opportunities coming up. If you are feeling in a space where you are feeling there are no options, no opportunities, not the case. All right. Um, sometimes there are choices in life that are available and we're just not aware of it. You are going through a huge spiritual awakening. Massive, massive, massive spiritual awakening areas. Your image has been a little bit trippy up and down here from what I was picking up in my readings in the past couple of weeks. So let's get right into this. Let's see what universal guidance we've got for you. Okay. Um, recent past. The Hierophant, the Devil, and the three of pentacles oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you know um very very tough space there in the recent past new beginnings new starts um i feel that some of you it's almost like you know sometimes in life you realize that you are stuck but you realize it would sort of like this you know like like when somebody like like when you read a novel she realized it with a start, that sort of thing, or with a start she realized. It's almost like, oh, am I doing that? You know, and, and, and I feel for many of you, it's almost like you were in this loop. You know, it's, it's not necessarily that the loop wasn't unfulfilling, but it wasn't fully fulfilling either, you know? And it's, it's like these things in life that we do sometimes, we don't like something, but you let it drip on little bit by little bit by little bit by little bit. Until one day you go and you're like, oh, what am I doing? You know, it's, it's like this, it's almost like a rude sort of awakening that I got that some of you got. And I, I feel that for many of you, you realize, you know, you may have blamed others or, or, or life or your job or your person or your family or your partner, whoever. But sort of realize in many ways that it's you that was allowing things to happen that you didn't necessarily like. I feel that for some of you, you know, you may have been so considerate, um, uh, spiritual, religious, kind, whatever, that you almost forgot about yourself, you know? So you were considering everything and everyone, but in many ways you may have forgotten about yourself. And when we do that, we basically place ourselves second, and when you place yourself second, life mirrors that, and then it places you second as well, you know, it gives you those experiences. But you realize that, and you realize that it was time to move on there with the Three of Pentacles. And I feel for many of you, there was that, you know, there's always the choice. You can keep on doing things the way that you've been doing them, but then you get the same results, you know. And anything that we continue is multiplied. So if it's good, it gets better. If it's bad, it gets worse, you know. Um, and some of you were like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Break that part, you know, um, which brings you to your current space. Now, your current space is a very, very trippy space, and for some of you, you really need this message. You got the King of Tower, sorry, the King of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Five of Swords. What is happening over here, my beautiful Aries? This is a space where you see your own potential. You go for your potential. You go for goal. You've got that real mind to start you. It's when we realize how we've been holding ourselves back and how you really go for your, um, you know, for your worth, for your, for your value, for what you're worthy of. You really, really go for it. Things are beginning to work out, you know. The future is looking very, very promising. But of course, you know, there is still that inner spring cleaning to, be deal, to, to deal with, you know. The ways that you were holding yourself back, the things that weren't fulfilling, there's still that to deal with. And I feel that for many of you dealing with that, but the tower is basically, it's your Mars energy. And you might want to take a look at a reading that's for your Mars energy as well. And if you don't know the placement for your Mars energy, take a look down below in the description. There's a link that says free natal chart. And it gives you your birth chart and you get to see your Mars energy. Because your Mars energy are the things that are holding you back. Are the things that are making you sabotage. Are the things that are not seeing the new opportunities. It's about how we fight, how we deal with conflict, how we move through conflict. Just a second, please. Um, oh, there we go. 
Oh, come on, Adrian. Sorry about that. Um, it's about realizing how we're holding ourselves back. Um, and it's also giving you guidance in how to get through difficult, you know, difficult periods, how to get through conflict, opposition, sadness, anger, fear, um, um, you know, lack of confidence, whatever it may be. Because our mass energy is basically, it focuses on how we not only get through challenges, but how we can sometimes make things worse than they need to be, you know. Um, so it's a good thing to really understand your Mars energy because a lot of times we focus on love and light and I'm this enlightened being and blah 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 but you are living here now your consciousness is here now it's a soul having a human being you know your soul sorry having a human being experience here now this is where you are and when you don't get this right doesn't matter how supposedly connected you are then you're not happy you're not feeling fulfilled so you want to get the year and the year and now you want to get this right because at the same token feel that the past is definitely coming to knock on your door again there Aries and it's saying like hey don't you want to do this we used to do this we used to do that you know um, so even though I feel that you're making this beautiful growth in many ways I feel that this journey is very lonely it could be because some of you are actually consciously isolating yourself not the best choice you know and you may feel that you don't you may feel that you don't have anybody that you can connect with um but it could also be in a sense that when you think that you can't connect with the people from your past you might also want to consider that you might make connections with new people you know you can open yourself to that a beautiful new soul family connection even if you join like an online community or something like that just be careful with those communities, those online communities, because whilst a lot of them are often started, now, even I started online communities before with very positive intentions, they can easily have a tendency to go south very quickly where it just becomes a whole complaining sort of thing. Um, but very difficult shift that you're going through here at the moment. It's like taking off, you know, sort of like the old jacket of, that used to represent you and being in the process of putting on the new one so it's almost like you're having the new one made it's at the designers at the tailors at the whatever um so you know you got it it's there it's an energy but there's still that past energy that's trying to reel you back and it's a it's a space of saying no to what you don't choose to be you and and, and sort of like still finding sort of like your yes in the sense of the word getting a clarity of your yes but almost like still redefining it okay However, good news going forward, um, in your immediate future, we've got the Six of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. So, victory and success going forward, really, really getting it going forward, you know, getting um, your, your hard work is basically paying off. Some of you might be feeling lonely, there's new connections coming in, your soul is calling in your soul family, beautiful new connection of love, or it could be that... Um, I feel that for some of you, it's almost like you, I got this for you before, Aries, that you felt that you're not worthy of being with someone else. It's not necessarily how they feel. Um, and when you open your heart to that, you don't have to try to work so hard to win them over. Because remember, in energy, we're always speaking. So the moment you can open your heart to being in a connection, to being with someone, when you can feel good enough and worthy enough, everything else will just flow for you, you know? And this goes for love, it goes for money, it goes to even the weather lining up with whatever it is that you want to do. Okay. Let's clarify. Let's look and see what we've got there for you in the recent past. Um, what are we clarifying there for you? What is the deeper guidance for Aries? What is it that they need to know, please? So you've got the Fool, you've got the Nine of Wands, and you've got the Page of Cups. New beginnings, new changes. Some of you were completely off track. Like, you were not living the best experience of life that you could. Not by a long shot. Maybe from the outside. You know, I feel that for many of you, your life appeared um, very, very almost idyllic, sort of, in a way, you know, on paper. But on the inside, a bit of a different story. And I feel that for many of you, the thing that you needed to realize was within yourself. 
Um, a lot of you may have been defined by other people's opinions from young childhood, maybe in a relationship, in a marriage. You stepped away, they stepped away. Um, you tried something, it didn't work. I feel that for many of you, you're really stepping away from a lot, but you're stepping towards more. Very brave in this space. Um, really beginning to make decisions there from the heart. What is it that I want? What is it that I want in life, in love, in my everyday? What, is, what does peace mean to me? What do I want? How do I want to experience my life? Beautiful though. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. In the immediate future, or sorry, in the current space where you are at the moment, um, page of ones, ten of swords, and nine of cups. So this is really great. It may not feel like it, but you're very much on board with the plan, especially when you take a look at this page of cups from the recent past and the page of ones going forward. So it's a space of what do I really want? What do I want to experience in life? How do I want love to be? How do I want my days to be? How do I want the moments in between? How do I even want to feel in my space and in my life when I'm not all positive and bubbly and happy and excited and those sort of things? And I feel then you started to do the work within yourself. And that is what's so amazing. When we do the work within ourselves and we become what we seek or that we, be, we work at becoming what we desire, that is when the magic really happens. And this is the wonderful thing that I get many of you got. Release a lot of things that weren't serving your highest good. A real sense of wisdom that came about here for you. Heart opening, especially mind opening. Some of you were doing that real sort of Einstein thing. You were doing the same thing over and over and over and over. Then getting the same result over and over and over. And this is this sort of like turning point for you. This breaking point. Um, breakthrough point rather where you realize that no 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 and some of you may feel at breaking point but you're also reminded that um, that even though it may not feel that way in many ways you do actually have it together you know nine of cups love coming through the only thing that many of you were seeking was just a beautiful connection of love it's all you wanted and you know a lot of times some people may say well that's a little fickle if you really think about it. That's a little shallow when you think about it. I completely disagree with those people because as a soul having a human experience, you are an expression of love. You are an expression of the universe. You are an expression of universal possibility. Your very creation, your very being is an expression of love. You are an ex expansion of love. And when you find that beautiful love that just makes your heart smile and your cells sparkle, you are really, and, and I feel that is how you're getting in alignment with yourself, but it's a space where you need to give your, you need to give it to yourself first, and then you can give it to others, and then you can actually receive it when it's available, because I feel for many of you, again, be dealing with a person, that it was there, but you didn't feel that you were worthy of it, and that you were good enough, and it's because the relationship with yourself was not sort of like on par whereas now it's getting on par and that obviously opened things for us you know and it's even beautiful because some of you may have been in a connection or is in a connection with someone and this takes it to the next level you know where it might mean that you take it next level with your person or it might mean that you separate and you just have a friendship thing going on but a beautiful beautiful friendship um i know that many of you don't want to hear that but sometimes that friendship ends up being better than the actual connection, the relationship, you know. In the immediate future, temperance, seven of cups, and the knight of pentacles. You're getting some real clarity with how it is that you need to move forward, which is in the best interest of all. You, you're having this very exciting journey of learning about yourself, learning about who you are, who you could potentially become. And for many of you, I can feel in energy, you're going like, Adrian, shut up, I don't want to hear this. But it's going forward, you're learning more of yourself, more of your potential. And even though for many of you, it is a space of stepping away, it's a fulfilling space and endings are, um, you know, sometimes you really realize that you needed someone for a certain time, but it's better for you to actually just be friends now. Um, and that in itself is so fulfilling. The person that you're dealing with is getting there. It's beautiful growth going forward. And it's an understanding of what the next step is. Don't be too fast, though, to jump from one connection to another connection. Okay. Um, 
give yourself time to just enjoy your freedom, to take a breath and to enjoy life. All right. Um, you might also be with someone that might actually be a relief because they may have felt that they need to keep you happy and keep you fulfilled. And now they're sort of happy that you get a sense of like, well, what is it that I want? All right. So it's, it's, it's not necessarily a thing where when you need space, it, it's negative for the other person. You may actually both need it. And you may both be um, better off as a result of it going sort of like both ways. All right. Um, and so let's see what you're getting in an oracle card. Obviously, if you want to have more personalized um, guidance from the universe, you can always book a personal reading. The details how to do it is down below in the description. If the reading was helpful, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so you get your weekly reading. Remember to hit the all notifications. Look at what you've got in clarity there, what you've got in um, universal guidance on the oracle simplicity the angels are with you your guides and guardians are with you you know you may have over um, complicated things and a lot of times when we over complicate things it's because we're trying to it's almost like when you flop a cake you put in some tissue paper and you kind of like go over over with the icing type of thing you know but it's one of those things where you realize you've got to face it you know and it's beautiful because from this place onwards I feel that for many of you if you are willing to be honest with yourself and and being honest with yourself means being also being kind with your, to your to yourself and it doesn't mean that you become this person who's almost a bastard towards yourself if you're kind to yourself things actually have the potential to get so much better for you all right um i do feel that it's necessary to have that consistent checking with kindness towards yourself though all right um, definitely do check out that free guided hypnosis that's coming up to really, really help you, especially with releasing what is not serving your highest good. If any of you are interested in learning the tarot, there's a link down below for my step-by-step -step tarot reading course. There's a link for my free oracle card reading course. But until next time, namaste, love and light. Thank you for your time. Bye.